Hey guys, gossip and reactions, Maurice Dick. I feel like some people would say or do anything to sell a book. And in some cases, I don't think it's necessary. We have seen Jada uh, Pinkett Smith did it. It did not work in her favor. Now we see Shawnee O'Neill disrespected her ex-husband saying she was never in love with him to sell a few copies of book. And now we have Whoopi Goldberg. I, when I saw that, I said, come on. What do you have to gain or what do you have to lose? You're 68. You've had a great job at The View. We've known you as this fiery woman that fights for your right, fights for your opinion. Now you're coming out saying, well, in the 70s, you were addicted to the COCD. You know, I can't say the word. And then you get some help. And then in the 80s, you went back and get, you relapse. You get relapse. Okay. What that going to do for Whoopi's career now? Why something you have to go back to bring your personal business out to sell a copy of a book. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's okay. A certain thing should be kept private in our families. I don't think we need to sell every dirty laundry to gain a dollar. Whoopi Goldberg reflects on how cocaine use affected her personal life and career. In her memoir, Bits and Pieces, my mother, my brother, and me, Goldberg revealed that after she had cleaned up from recreational D usage in the early 1970s, she relapsed in the 80s. Whoopi Goldberg is reflecting on her former cocaine addiction and how coming face to face with a housekeeper forced her to get clean. I don't think we needed to know that information. What's that going to do for us knowing that she used to be addicted to the C word, get some help, and then relapse in the 80s? I, I don't understand why, seriously. In her memoir, Bits and Pieces, my mother, my brother, and me, released on May 7th, the View co-host Goldberg revealed that after she had cleaned up from the rec recreational drug usage in the early 1970s she relapsed in the 80s while spending time in the new york and los angeles i was invited to parties where i was greeted at the door with a bowl of quaaludes from which i could pick what i wanted corbett wrote per people magazine lines of the sea were laid across tables and bathroom corners for the taking. The actress and comedian said she thought she could handle the sea thing, but after a year, she fell into the deep well of sea and sank to a new low. Cocaina started to kick my A. Goldberg wrote, Entertainment Weekly reported, I'd go to work and realized I was getting sloppy I didn't like it. I know it wasn't good. At one point, I hallucinated. Something was under my bed and I'll be attacked it, <laughs> attacked if I got up. So I didn't move out of my bed for 24 hours. That kind of S doesn't end pretty. There was only so long a person can hold their bladder. I don't know. You are a grandma. You have a daughter. We see you as the grandma of TV to give advice, to stand up strong in political view and opinions. But now you're talking about you holding pee for 24 hours because you were afraid because you were high. Like that don't set right with me. I'm sorry. That don't set right with me. Who is going to be helping out? Those people that are already hooked in different type of drugs, they are hooked. You writing this book about how your life used to be back then, it's not going to help anybody right now. So I really feel like we have a problem in our culture 
that the fact that we have to sell our dirty laundry to make a few dollars, Whoopi Goldberg already a rich woman. Whatever she makes out of this book sale is not going to make her better or less. So what are you doing? Why are we selling? Why are we telling our secrets? Why are we telling the world we used to be addicted to a certain kind of drug? I, I don't know. I don't feel like it was the... If the person is no longer alive, if she had the book written, put it there for when she's no longer with us, her daughter or her grandkids publish it it would have more meaning more significant on it why are you living you have a job you're on tv you're gonna tell people how you used to be hallucinated i don't see what's in it for her please let me know if i'm wrong i just don't see why a 68 year old woman is telling people about how she used to be high how she used to be hallucinated i just don't find it attractive subscribe let me know how you feel thank you